Catherine again with Cascade Tech. Today I'd like to show you how to set the integrated high limit thermostat in your Wattlow Easy Zone control. If you've already watched the first video, you know that this is the process temperature, the set point, the communication light, degrees Celsius, the green advance key, reset button, and arrows. What you're going to want to do to set your high limit thermostat is press the green advance key once. Limit high set point one, that's my translation of watt load digital speak, comes configured from the factory in degrees Celsius at the highest possible setting, which is 270 degrees C. We're gonna run that down somewhere past our current temperature. So our current temperature here in my office is around 20 degrees Celsius, so let's just run that down to about 10. <clears throat> or one, that's fine too. What you'll notice right away is this number four goes on. This number four is activating a relay that's shutting off power to the heaters. This message comes on, limit high, attention, the current temperature is 21 degrees, and the unit is off. This will be the visual alarm that you will see any time this process temperature is greater than the over temperature set point. To clear this alarm, press the green advance key. It says ignore or clear. We want to leave it on ignore. Press the green advance key again and you'll see our set point. It's still flashing the alarm, but here's our set point. And then I'm going to use the up arrows to take that up out of the way. Okay? So the way that I cleared the alarm, it's kind of cheating, is I just set this for any value higher when I reset. Set that for any value higher than the current temperature. You'll notice that the number four went off. The number one is the heartbeat. It's always flashing like it should. And we're back at the original condition. If you were, if the oven was heating at the time the alarm went off. It would look something like this. So let's set our set point to something higher than the application, current application temperature. So we're going to set it to 40 degrees. Watch down here. That number two went on. So when the set point is higher than the application temperature, we activate power to the heaters. Let's press our green advance key and let's set our over temperature protection to something less than the current set point. I mean, excuse me, current application temperature. So the current application temperature is around 20 degrees. We'll just set that to less than 20. You'll see what happens. That number two turned off because the independent over temperature thermostat turns off power to the heaters. Activates a relay to make sure that that happens. So the number two goes off, the number four goes on, and you have that same alarm that we discussed. Remember, to clear it, green key, ignore, green key, run the temperature up. Now when setting this, and then reset. When setting this for actual use, we recommend setting the over temperature protection around five degrees higher than your process temperature. Now you're back in your original condition. The number two light is on because the set point is greater than the process temperature. Now that you know how to set your high limit thermostat, you're ready to set up a ramp and soak profile. Feel free to come back and watch another one of our videos to learn how to get the most out of your Cascade Tech oven. Have a great day.